Hey guys, welcome back to Dixie Bell's YouTube channel. My name is Lauren and I am the furniture flipping teacher. And I'm also a full-time kindergarten teacher and I flip furniture on the side to earn a profit that I used to put toward my student loan debt, but I got that paid off. So now I am putting it toward a down payment on a house. So today I'm gonna to be flipping this small little dresser right here and I got it for $20 at a garage sale. And I hope that you learn some things during this flip just about how easy furniture flipping can be and especially when you're using the lovely Dixie Bell products. The first step that I am going to take is to remove the hardware. It has flat heads. I'm just gonna go ahead and take these drawers out so I don't get them stuck in there. We are going to use the Dixie Bell's White Lightning and this just is going to eliminate all of the grease and dirt and grime on the piece so that the paint can better adhere to the piece. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit in my water here. Mix it around. Some pretty gross things on that furniture. So now we are going to use some fresh water and clean everything up, rinse everything off, get all that cleaner and then any leftover dirt. Our next step is going to be using some Dixie mud. And I've just noticed a few cracks in the wood. And so I just wanna fill those up with some Dixie mud to make everything flawless and seam free when I apply the paint. Dixie mud is much like a wood filler. What you do is you just stick your spatula in there and then you get some and you apply it to spaces like this or any gouges that you want to be more flat when you put that paint on. So you're gonna put a little bit more than necessary on there and then when it's dry, you will take your sander and sand it down. All the Dixie mud is on and there's a little bit more than I had anticipated, but that's gotta dry now before we sand it down to be smooth with the wood. So let's let that dry. Our Dixie mud has hardened. And so now it's time to sand it down. And then while I'm at it, I'm just gonna kind of scuff sand everything. I am gonna be applying some boss after this. And that is because this stain, I can just tell in the inside that this is like hand stained. And so I know that it's gonna pop through um, and I just wanna prevent any bleed through. So I'll be using that boss after that. Sanding is all finished up, so I'm just gonna take a microfiber cloth and get all that dust off there, and then we can do some boss. Time for the boss. I am gonna use gray boss on this today because this one is the one that most closely matches my color. If you're using a lighter color, then you're gonna wanna use white, 
Um, if you're using a darker color, you're gonna wanna use gray. Now, that's kind of something that is weird because I'm gonna be using a lighter color, so I'm, but I'm using gray, but the color is really, really close to gray. So I have confidence that after I do the gray boss, then I'll put the color on and it will just need one to two coats to cover all of the surface. So like I said, I am using the boss in order to make sure that none of my stain pops through because this blocks stains and stops bleed through. And then of course it also blocks odors. This specific piece doesn't have any odors, but if you've ever got a piece that does have odors like smoke or things like that, mildew, this will help block those smells. I'm using the Oval Mini brush. You can find it over on their website. All right, all the boss is finished up, so we've gotta let that dry for a little bit before we put the first coat of our surprise color on. I was stuck between these two colors on what I wanted to do for this small little dresser. I knew I was gonna have gold hardware, but I just couldn't decide, so I posted a poll over on my Instagram page, at Furniture Flipping Teacher, and I asked my followers what color should I do? And although I was sort of leaning toward the darker blue, the Yankee blue, I'm gonna have to save that for another project because Savannah missed one by a landslide. So I'm gonna be trying out this Savannah mist color. And like I told you, it's really a similar color to this boss, um, but it is blue. It's just like a blue gray. So I'm excited to see what it looks like on. Let's get started with some paint. So I'm gonna be using the Dixie Bell mini brush. This is probably their most popular brush. Then I'm also gonna be using the mister bottle that is a continuous mister. So that really helps thin out the paint. I'm gonna put a little bit in the paint and then I'm also gonna put some on the piece and on my brush. And that'll just help the paint go on really nice and smooth and also help really eliminate those brush strokes as well. I'll give a little spray to my brush and to the piece where I'm gonna start. We're gonna put some color on it. All right, first coat is on. So we'll just let that dry. As you can kind of see, it's drying a bit darker than it goes on, which tends to happen with paint in general. So uh, this is gonna be about the color that we're getting. It's just a little bit of a dusty blue kind of. So I'm excited. I like the look. Hey, the first coat's dry. So we're gonna go ahead and put coat number two on there just to be sure you get the best coverage when you do two coats. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do.
All right, coat number two is finished up. So now we're gonna let that dry before we put the top coat on. Time for top coat. I'm gonna be using the clear coat in flat. So it's gonna be matte, no shine. That's just the type of um, finish that I usually like. When you're applying top coat, you really just need a little bit on each brush stroke. That way you don't get clumps and pools of top coat. All right, top coat is finished. I'll probably do one more top coat on the top of the dresser just to get with that extra layer of protection because it'll probably be a more high traffic spot. But other than that, we're done and I'm gonna install some hardware. All right, let's get some hardware on. This is the cute little gold hardware that I chose for this dresser. All finished up with the hardware here and let's take a look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and stage the dresser so that we can take some photos and post it for sale on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm just gonna kind of tie in the gold hardware here with the gold lamp and then throw some greenery on there as well and we'll call it good. It doesn't really need to be staged like crazy. Uh, just simple, the better, but you just wanna stage it just a tad bit so that someone can imagine it where they might put it in their house. I'm just gonna take some quick photos here. It's just a little dresser. I got it for $20, like I said, and you know, I might not be getting the biggest profit out of this dresser. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start to list it at 150, and then we'll just kind of see and go from there. Uh, it's a really good quality dresser, but I think it would look cute in a little kid's room or even like a teen or some small apartment. Um, the drawers slide out nice and easy, has enough storage for something small and I'll make sure to kind of highlight those aspects of this dresser in my listing on Facebook Marketplace. Let's go ahead and get it posted. Well, we ended up getting this posted for $150 on Facebook Marketplace. And I had a little bit of interest, but no solid buys yet. So I'm just gonna leave it up on there for $150. I think that's a pretty decent price for what this dresser is. It's pretty small, but I think it'd be really cute. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to get subscribed down on Dixie Bell's channel and I will be here every Friday. And you can also head over to my channel, Furniture Flipping Teacher, and get subscribed to follow along on my journey of flipping furniture. Now I am saving up money to put a down payment on a house and we are also saving up money to create a fund for teachers to help them in several different ways. So we would love for you to be a part of our journey over there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the flip side.